Hi and welcome to Conversations with Robin. Yet again we're filming on the Great Walk to Beijing which is part of the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research and Wellness Centre fundraiser. And on today's program we have Diane Haven who is the founder of Curves. Hi Robin. Hi Diane and thank you so much for being on, on the show. Thank you for having me. And also for being the major sponsor of the, uh, of the Olivia, Olivia Walk. Thank you. We, we believe in um, supporting causes like this and moving uh, people away from disease. So we are, we're excited about this sp sponsorship. So how did you, you know, what, what was the steps along the way for Curves to be involved in this? Well, um, I have my own magazine mm -hmm. for our Curves uh, company. And so I was actually doing an interview with Olivia. Mm. And I met her about probably eight months ago or so. And we started to talk and she said, well... I'm doing this great walk to Beijing. Would you like to go? And it made a lot of sense because we have a lot. It, it, I mean, it mixed our company and the walk had a lot of um, common grounds. Mm -hmm. And so um, thought about it for just a few days and and I joined in. Okay. Simple as that. <laughs> well, before we find out your experiences on the walk and mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of how Curves has, has you know really assisted with the sponsorship. Can we find out a bit about Curves? Because I was so blown out at how big Curves is. Mm -hmm. So could you just share a little bit about, first I guess, how big Curves is now, what it does, and how it started? Yeah. Well, let me just start by saying first that I have a really strong faith. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe that um, I have been created by a loving God mm -hmm. who um, has made a way for me by sending His Son to, to pay a price for, for my life so that I can live forever. Um, and have an atonement for my sins and uh, live in heaven forever. Mm -hmm. And so because of that relationship, um, he has been involved in every step of this whole Curves business. And it's been a magnificent ride, as you now know. Mm -hmm. And so um, we prayed along the way every step that we built Curves. And uh, my husband and I um, had different reasons for being involved and, and wanting to start a curves. My husband, his mother died when, she, when he was about 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I think deep down he didn't want any other child to have to lose their mother. It's kind of funny because he didn't really know that in the beginning, but at, later in life, um, probably after about 10 years that we started curves, he realized why he was doing it. What did she die of? She died of um, diabetes mm -hmm. and um, she was overweight. Mm -hmm. And so, which causes a lot of problems, as you know. Yeah. And for me, um, I was raised uh, by my mom. My parents got divorced when I was young, so I, I was blessed to spend a lot of time with my grandparents. And they instilled in me great exercise habits. And in fact, my grandmother used to say, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. <laughs> and so, um, she instilled this great passion for exercise. And so, um, for me, it was just a passion to share what exercise can do for, for people. And once you've experienced a benefit of exercise, you just want to scream it. Mm. And so, um, so the day happened. Um, I went back to school. I learned all that I needed to learn about um, fitness business, which wasn't, that's not my strength business. Mm -hmm. But I have passion and exercise um, physiology and kinesiology. And so anyway, I've got all the knowledge and things that I needed to learn. And we opened up the first curves. When? We opened it up in 1992 okay, in South so Texas. 16 years ago? Yes. In South Texas? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The tippity bottom of Texas. And okay. um, we actually thought we were just going to open a facility. Mm -hmm. And it was so successful. I mean, they were, I mean, if I could just have brought you to that moment, that first day, people were just throwing checks at me wow. and money. And wow. it was like, I did not expect this because I was, this was really my first business experience. Of course, my husband was in the fitness business all of his adult life, and he lost it all. Mm -hmm. And so um, he believed so much in it that we gave it a second try with all the things that he had learned mm -hmm. the hard way yep. and applied all that. So we had a really great business model. And so the first curves was really successful. Why do you think it just took off like that? What was it that people just obviously opened their hearts to? Well, I think um, we, had a, we have a lot of great things about Curves. Number one, it's for women only. Mm -hmm. Women really want to work out where they're not bothered by um, men. Mm -hmm. They don't want to have to get dressed up. They mm -hmm. don't want to wear makeup. Mm -hmm. And I think probably one of the biggest things is that um, this community of support. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, we found that um, women, not just the owners, uh, or not just for me. I mean, I'm talking franchisees for a minute. Yeah. Uh, for me, 
that if you can like lend your willpower to somebody or mm -hmm. your strength for the day, um, it's really encouraging and empowering for a woman. And then very quickly, the members were doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think we realized that the community of support would be so strong, but it, but it was. And so they were flocking in. And, and, and when a woman has a great experience, what does she do? She shares it. With she her shares friends. it. You know, I guess when you think about it, especially 16 years ago, they, there weren't that many places that women could just congregate and be with women. Right. So, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. it makes great sense. So then uh, Curves number 1 was so successful, we thought, let's open another one. Um, but before we opened another one, we decided we had, we had a mixed family. My husband and I were married mm. uh, before. we had So we had a yours, mine, and ours, and we got all our children <laughs> together, yep. the three of them, yep. and said we can open another club or have a baby. Mm. And popular vote, we had a baby. Aww. So we had my little baby daughter, Shyla. That's so inclusive of how you did that. Yeah, yeah. I know. My husband's proud to say that it only took two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, okay, so then we opened up Curves number two, mm. which was a... Uh, about an hour away from the other club in mm -hmm. Harlingen, and that too was very successful. Wow. And so it was after club number two that we realized that we were changing so many women's lives. Mm. How could we change perhaps thousands of women's lives? Okay, well when you say changing so many women's lives, mm -hmm. we're not just talking about weight loss, are we? No. Can you just share a bit more about sure. that? Sure. As a matter of fact, um, I kind of think that weight loss is just kind of a side benefit. Mm. What's more powerful than anything is that we were giving women their quality of life back. Mm. I've watched women transform in front of my face. They are living their lives now instead of on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell you, it's just, I mean, I don't think you can get a greater gift mm. than giving her, a woman her life back. Mm. It's, it's amazing. Well, you know, I guess one of the reasons that, that I resonate with what you do is because I, I have a lot of um, honoring of indigenous ways. And with indigenous cultures, one of their, their major values is that the men support the women mm -hmm. for the women to support the tribe, to support the community. And when I hear what Curves does, as women feel supported, they automatically are there for their families in the larger community. Mm -hmm. So it, that's just, I just think Curves is, mm -hmm. is, is an amazing company. Mm -hmm. I had to throw that yeah. in. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Oh, no, this is all good stuff. Yeah. It's great stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, so we... Um, we really thought about how could we do this. And one thing we realized real quickly is that um, we had to find people with like minds, like passion. And so franchising made sense because we needed to find people who had passion because we could teach them the systems very easily. Mm. And so that's what we set out to do. And um, first year, um, you know, actually when we first started to franchise, you know, we had a few, maybe 10 or so within a few months. And we thought, oh, wow, this is wonderful. You know, we have 10. We're going to live happily ever after. And, in you know, the first we, year. In the, well, actually, we did um, 50 in the first year. Was it 50? I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting the numbers, but yeah. I have to tell you, within yeah. a year, I believe it was 250 that we sold. Because what happened was the members would have such a great experience mm -hmm that they wanted to open a club. Ah. And of course, we had just started tapping into the US market and there yeah. were territories everywhere. Wow. And so um, that's what happened. First year, 250, uh, then I think we went to 500, tripled to 15, and that's, the story just goes on. It just kept multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. It was just amazing. Never, never would have dreamed of that. But one thing we also did was that because my husband lost everything, the first time around, mm. that again, because of our faith being so strong, we made the decision early on that we would not go into debt. Mm -hmm. So we actually started this whole empire on $10,000 that we saved wow. and never borrowed a penny. Wow. And to this day, we are debt free and we are reaping the rewards, mm -hmm. um, both financially and, uh, of course, you, you hear me, physically. Mm and um, changing lives, uh, it's just a phenomenal story. Mm. Um, and we just, we diligently prayed, you know what, God, if you wanna grow this business, you gotta send the resources. Yeah. Cause we're not gonna, we're not gonna go back there. And I, it was a little overwhelming sometimes because he grew it fast. <laughs> and big. And big. We'll take a break and we'll come back and find out just how big Curves actually is and really what it's doing on a global level. Stay with us.